Here at GCM, we've made approximately 1,500 videos about various strands of this most beautiful sport of ours, and that equates, using mathematics, to approximately 8,625 minutes of viewing, which is six straight days, again, using maths. Mm. So, making one all-encompassing video telling you the top 10 things that you should know about cycling was always going to be difficult. I mean, where do we start? How about the beginning? Exactly. So, my fact comes first, and it comes from the very beginning before you were even born. Come on. Yeah, so it's not actually a fact because it's more of a rumour, but apparently the first ever sketch of a bicycle was made all the way back in 1493 by a student of Leonardo da Vinci and his name was Gian Giacomo Caprotti. And it was from that sketch that this replica bike was made in the late 1960s. More a plank of a wood than a saddle in there. Yeah, it's really. looking extremely comfortable, is it? Not really. Okay, from controversial sketch to the first proper working bike. Now, leapfrogging the velocipedes of the early 1800s that essentially required the rider to scoot along. The first ever mechanically propelled bike was made by a Scot, Kirkpatrick Macmillan, in 1839, using rods and treadles, a little bit like a locomotive, rather than a standard bike, using cranks and a chain. That is a top fact, Matt. Well done. But I'm afraid that I'm about to trump it with an absolutely stratospheric fact. You can try. So, do you know how many bikes there are in the world right now? You're going to tell me, aren't you? I am. It is just under 1 billion, and 450 million of those are in China. Whew. Or at least, that was when it was done, this survey, back in 2014. Okay, from how many bikes to the fastest bike in the world? How fast do you think the fastest bike in the world has oh, ever I gone? I know this one. Well, it's like two on... well, you're not nicking my fact. You've done that too many times in the past. I'm having this fact for myself, Dan. All right. All right. The fastest bike in the world, now get this, 268.831 kilometres an hour. That's bonkers. That is fast. I mean, that's got to be what? 166.944 miles per hour, I imagine. You're on fire today, mate. Anyway, that accolade went to Fred Rumpelberg of the Netherlands, and he did it on the Bonneville Salt Flat in Utah, USA, in 1995. Extreme slipstreaming right there. Right, well, let's go from 1995 all the way back to the 31st of May, 1868. What significant historical cycling event took place on that day, Matt? Well, I was born on January the 4th, so it wasn't that. Uh, no, I don't know. I think you're gonna have to up your game, Matt because on that day was the first ever documented cycle race. Now, it took place in this Parc de Saint-Cloud over in Paris. Now, it was actually won by an Englishman called James Moore, and he won the race on a wooden bike with solid iron tyres, not tyres, but wheels. Yeah. And he did it over a 1,200 metre course on a gravel road, which went to the Parc Fountain and back. That James Wood, the first ever cycling superstar who went on the following year to win the first ever road race, which was called Paris-Rouen, uh, he covered the 130 kilometres in 10 hours and 25 minutes, beating 324 other competitors, including a five-year-old girl. Yeah, but it was James Moore, not James Wood. Go on, I've got one more fact for you. Go on, then. The ball bearings in his wheels were actually made by inmates of the local prison in Paris because making the ball bearings was such hard labour. Gears. What do you mean, gears? Well, I've got some totally wizard facts about bicycle gears. Well, I don't think any facts about gears are going to really be that exciting, Dan. But Just but you on. wait, Sonny Jim. Go Listen on. to this. So, did you know that Tour de France riders, professionals, actually weren't allowed to use gears until 1937, despite the fact that the derailleur had been invented some years previous? So, tour boss at the time, Henri de Grange, was reported to have said this. I still feel that variable gears are only for people over 45. Isn't it better to triumph by the strength of your muscles than by the artifice of a derailleur? We are getting soft. Come on, fellows. As for me, give me a fixed gear. I actually thought you were French then, Dan. I thought you were native. But funnily enough, I actually know the rest of that story. The pro riders in the Tour de France at the time weren't allowed to use gears and they, they threatened De Grange that they would go on strike and down their bikes because they were getting regularly beaten on the tough mountain stages by the cycling tourist riders who were allowed to use derailleur gears. Yeah, they were. True story, that. But you'd have been all right actually being 45 and all, you would have been allowed to use gears anyway. Now, let's move ourselves away from the heady heights of the mountains of the Tour de France and move over to 
commuting to work by bike. So, some research conducted back in 2010 showed that people who begin commuting to work by bike in that first year will lose, on average, 5.8 kilograms or 12.76 pounds. Whoa, that is pretty impressive. And of course, they're going to save themselves a heap of cash and reduce their carbon footprint at the same time. But get this, as soon as you swing your leg over a bike and start to propel yourself forwards, you become the most efficient creature on Earth. Wow. There's no other living thing that can expend so little energy for so much self-powered travel. What about a rabbit on a skateboard going down a hill? No? Uh, anyway, I think you are right, and in fact, if you expend the same amount of energy on a bike as a pedestrian walking down the road, you'll actually be going three times as quickly. The bike is the most efficient vehicle on Earth by a long, long way. And if you calculate calories burnt per kilogram and per kilometre, it blows planes, trains, rockets, automobiles, cars and boats out of the park. But not rabbits and skateboards going down hills. Right, well there are some fantastic facts for you there, and if you enjoyed those, then there's no doubt you'll enjoy our Tour de France fact as well. You can find that video by clicking just up there. Yeah, and if you fancy tuning in to the latest weekly GCN show, how about clicking just down here? And if you would like to subscribe to the channel, just click on any one of us. Or me.